slash dash cut a hole in the ass. Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's Boy 1298 here, and welcome back to. Hey, everybody, it's Boy 1298 here. Welcome back. Damn it! Hey, everybody, it's Boy 1298 here, and welcome to Resident Evil 4. I have been wanting to play this for a long time. You. some. bitch. Okay, you stop. Shut up. So. I've been wanting to play this for the longest time, it's one of my most favorite games, and I've just been trying to get everything to work, and I just figured out on YouTube that the Xbox DVR that you can use with Windows 10 now, you can do the settings in the Xbox app, which I had no idea that you could do that, and luckily my um, computer was supported for video cards, so I can record, stop, and you can um, do a bunch of stuff, but anyway, I started a little bit on this game to see how it was on my PC, and it actually ran pretty well. So I just had to get audio sorted out, so the game audio might click and chit here and there. But other than that, if you guys can get by that, then you'll pretty much be fine. Um, anyway, I just want to get started on what's going on with this. I cannot wait. Let's get into it. I think there's a cutscene right here that I gotta be quiet on. 1998. Yeah, cutscene. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklane Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City. It hit the peaceful little town, with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. finished. And I think this is where the little cha-cha music comes in because he's sitting in the car with the two, uh, I think they're two Mexican Six cops. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. Yeah, there it is. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? You, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. Quite. All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. I think the guy gets out here to take a piss. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long.
just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. We'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. All I know is that shit hits the fan real Jeez. quick. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Yeah, I tried to record with Fraps, and come to find out, Fraps is not compatible anymore on Windows 10. And um, it kind of it upsets me, because Fraps was a good recording software. It really was. Oh yeah, this is your first enemy you have to kill. It's... This game is pretty freaky, and like I said before, shit hits the fan real quick. You're pretty much just thrown into it. And that's what I liked about this Resident Evil out of the rest of them. Uh, excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Yeah, you call him a cabrón. Freeze! I said freeze! You guys will most likely hear, be able to hear my buttons clicking because I'm using a controller. Headshot. Oh yeah, the villagers ran my police police officers off the road. Shit. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Mm hmm getting the hell out of here. Looks like they've killed a lot of people. Click. Hope Ash is okay. Uh, I don't know about that one. Ooh, hang on, Emma. Take. Yes. Let me jump out this window. Boom. Oh. oh, yeah. Shut up. Yeah, I remember the controls from when I was. Oh, my God. I remember the controls for PlayStation 2 controller, so that's how I know how to, like, pretty much connect them with the controls on the Xbox controller. Oh, you're still alive? Yeah, you use those gold uh, for the merchant. The merchant's the funniest thing they've ever added to Resident Evil. And the funniest thing is, you can shoot birds and fish and get, like, 
items from them. Mm, I forgot this shack was here. Yes. Slice. Take. Oh yeah, herbs you can combine if anybody hasn't played any past Resident Evil. I'm gonna try to get the older ones as well, like Resident Evil Zero and stuff like that. The ones that were for GameCube way back when. Because those were, those were good. I'm gonna save. So that's my save there. I'm gonna save this in save slot too. I can't forget that, that whenever I'm recording, my save slot is in this one. Here. What's this? Looks like a warning of some sort. I have a bad feeling about this. I bet you do. Aww, poor doggy. Oh, that's a wolf. Don't help him. I know there's some people that, that are assholes and they shoot the wolf. <laughs> I've seen it happen. It's hilarious. It's also mean, too. To watch those C4s. What's up, nigga? Oh, good shot. Get wrecked. I'll slice him. There's some more up the road here. Oh. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. Uh, I'm, I, <laughs> don't you think? You got a, oh, you got a beautiful woman there with a pitchfork to the face, and you're saying that you don't want to find your little girl? Uh, I think she ate that one. That that lady on the wall here. I think she ate that one. Cause, oh my God, how does that metal taste? Oh, uh, mistake. Slice. 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 You guys haven't seen a scary movie where he was like, slash, dash, cut a hole in the ass. Yeah, that's my favorite part. And that's what that reminds me of. Oh shit. How do I miss? Oh, wrong button. Sorry if you guys can hear my buttons click. I know it's annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm using the mic on my computer and it's and it's ultra sensitive. So I wish I had like a blue microphone or an external microphone so I'm not over here so you guys don't hear everything, you know, so. But there's not, like I said, there's nothing that I can do about it. Unfortunately, there's nothing that I can do about it. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hopkins. Sorry to hear that. Really I'm bad question. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. No, you won't. Because we don't need it. I'm pretty much familiar with the controls as it is. Alrighty. I know you have to you have to shoot these villagers. You get into a fight and it's like even the chainsaw guy comes after.
Oh, shut. Time to use it. Gotta get the hell out. This is my objective, is to run in this house. Cause I know you have to lock yourself in and this is where you find the shotgun. Oh shit. Push, white boy, push! Gotta go. Oh shit, chainsaw guy. Get wrecked. This is probably the main person that I'm, this is the only person that I'm actually worried about, is this chainsaw guy. That's the person I'm only true. That's the, really the only person I'm really worried about. He's still not dead because I can hear the sound of his chainsaw. Oh, his head came off. Gotta go. Where's the chainsaw at? There he is. Finally killed him. Jesus. Get the hell off me. What the hell's wrong with you? Gotta run! Yeah. Oh god. Get wrecked! Oh, bust this head open with the kick! Yeah, like John Jones, you boy! Oh, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go Sonic fast. Sonic. Was it Sonic? Sonic. Sonic fast. Gotta go Sonic fast. I'm claiming Sonic is Sonic. Gotta go Sonic fast. Alright, let's reload this. Oh, the frame rate. Barrel stuff. Gotta go. Oh, jeez. Ow. Crazy lady. I use first aid spray. I gotta use something with her dying. Kick him. Yeah, if you do that, you pretty much save yourself from a group of enemies. Because they also get thrown back as well. That's why I do that. 
saves me ammo and time. Block your face. Really? Yeah, and then you gotta fight them off for a certain amount of time and they get called in. I'm not trying to release any spoilers, but I can't wait till you guys meet the big cheese. Bingo? I think he calls Hunnigan after this. Hunnigan, I have some bad news. Confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. All right, I'm gonna search the rest of the town for anything. Um, I think I'm gonna skip this part and go ahead, so you guys don't have to watch me collect anything from here. And then whenever I move on to the next portion of the game, I'll show you what I collected from there. It would just make everything a lot easier, a lot smoother, and you guys want to sit around here and wait on me. All right, guys, I'm back. I reached a. I hear walking. I hit a save point. And I told you guys that once I got back that I was going to show you what I received back from the previous part. Um, but basically I received a shitload of shotgun shells. Um, that should be good. I think I'm going to reload my shotgun now. I received, uh, maybe I think five, no, ten pistol rounds. And I received a note that we're going to read now. So that way, I received a file. i got to find which one it was. I think it was it was the alert order okay alert order recently there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner bleep for those of you not yet informed the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm we will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready the prisoner is to stay there until further notice meanwhile do not let the American agent near the prisoner we do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not is not just a coincidence. Next. I sent a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Batoris Mendez. Alrighty guys, well I think I'm going to save here and end this episode here. It's already been maybe about a half an hour that I've since recording. Um, but I'm going to cut this video down. <laughs> Throughout all the editing, the, the video is probably going to get cut down to be 15 minutes. To maybe 20 minutes. Um, but any day, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I actually hope this works whenever I go to play it back and piece everything together. Because I swear to God, if it doesn't. Because it did the same thing whenever I was trying to record Halo uh, Spartan Strike, I think it was. Anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying. This is the first episode. Please let me know if you want me to continue this playthrough down in the comments section below. And I will be happy to continue it later on in a later date, which will most likely be tomorrow or uh, Friday. Yes, Friday. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow or whenever I do. Oh, also, have a very Merry Christmas. So, like I said, if you guys want me to finish this playthrough, please post in the comment section below and give me, you know, show me some love. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. Get good gifts and let me know what you guys get in the comment section. I will see all you guys in the next video. See ya! I was only three years old when my pops left. We ain't had shit, now we had even less. A couple bills in the mail, now my mom's stressed. Know my games now, I gotta be the best. My dad got a new fam, yeah, that's what's up. Brother try to help, then he got locked up. Know my spending, save what we have. One pair of kids to teach you, laugh to my swag.